Finance is offered by Achievers Fuel and Service Center Corporation, Planet Drugstore Corporation, and Semirara Mining and Power Corporation. Good day, dear brothers and sisters. We welcome everyone as we celebrate the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass, the fifth Sunday in Ordinary Time, and the Pro-Life Month with the theme, Let Our Light Shine. The Mission Communications Foundation Incorporated of the Society of the Divine Word, SPD, brings to you this Eucharistic celebration at the Sanctuary of the Divine Word Chapel of the Diocesan Shrine of Jesus, the Divine Word, Christ the King Mission Seminary, E. Rodriguez Senior Avenue, Quezon City. Our Mass Presider is Reverend Father Don Dion Soriano, SVD. And as one community and family gathered in Christ, let us all begin our Eucharistic celebration. We are gathered together in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. As we begin this Eucharistic celebration during this month, this pro-life month, we acknowledge our sins and prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Ay kapayapaan 
Let us pray. Keep your family safe, O Lord, with unfailing care, that relying solely on the hope of heavenly grace, they may be defended always by your protection. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. In a world darkened by sin, Virtuous acts are like stores of light. In today's passage, with clarity, Isaiah proclaims deeds of light are more pleasing to the Lord and the wonderful fruits that such a behavior will produce. The first reading. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, Share your bread with the hungry. Shelter the oppressed and the homeless. Clothe the naked when you see them. And do not turn your back on your own. Then your light shall break forth like the dawn, and your wound shall quickly be healed. Your vindication shall go before you, and the glory of the Lord shall be your rear guard. Then you shall call, and the Lord will answer. You shall cry for help, and he will say, Here I am. If you remove from your meads oppression, false accusation, and malicious speech, if you bestow your bread on the hungry and satisfy the afflicted, then light shall rise for you in the darkness, and the gloom shall become for you like midday. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The just man is a light in darkness to the upright. The just man is a light in darkness to the upright. Light shines through the darkness for the upright. He is gracious and merciful and just. Well for the man who is gracious and lends, who conducts his affairs with justice. The just man is a light in darkness to the upright. He shall never be moved. The just one shall be in everlasting remembrance. An evil report he shall not fear. His heart is firm, trusting in the Lord. The just man is a light in darkness to the upright. His heart is steadfast. He shall not fear. Lavishly he gives to the poor. His justice shall endure forever. His horn shall be exalted in glory. The just man is a light in darkness to the upright. Paul's preaching in Corinth 
was characterized by simplicity of presentation, focus on the crucified Christ, and trust in the power of the Holy Spirit. This is what he recalls in the passage we are about to hear, proclaim for our edification and imitation. The second reading. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. When I came to you, brothers and sisters, proclaiming the mystery of God, I did not come with sublimity of words or of wisdom, for I resolved to know nothing while I was with you except Jesus Christ and him crucified. I came to you in weakness and fear and much trembling, and my message and my proclamation were not with persuasive words of wisdom, but with a demonstration of spirit and power, so that your faith might rest not on human wisdom, but on the power of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand to honor the Holy Gospel. After having proclaimed the Beatitudes, Jesus challenged his disciples to be salt of the earth and light of the world. Such is the mission he assigns to us today. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, you are the salt of the earth, but if salt loses its taste, with what can it be seasoned? It is no longer good for anything but to be thrown out and trampled underfoot. You are the light of the world. A city set on a mountain cannot be hidden, nor do they light a lamp and then put it under a bushel basket. It is set on a lampstand where it gives light to all in the house. Just so, your light must shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your heavenly Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Gospel today is the continuation of the Gospel that we heard last Sunday. I hope you can still remember the Gospel last Sunday. It is all about uh, the Beatitudes. So, kumusta na ba yung ating attitude? Naging ma-attitude ba tayo ngayong Sunday na ito this week? Or Beatitudes? And uh, Jesus Christ reminded us last Sunday that the Beatitudes is the source or the true source of happiness as Christians. And today in the fifth or during this fifth Sunday in ordinary time, Christ is telling us on some concrete ways on how to live these Beatitudes. We are all familiar with his sermon about the salt of the earth and the light of the world. During the time of Jesus, salt was not as common as it is today. Now you can see salt everywhere. Salt was essential during that time to both the economy and religion. Actually, the English word salary, sueldo, salary, is derived from the Latin salarium, 
meaning salt wages. So during that time, the Roman soldiers were paid with salt. So imagine pagkatapos mong magmarcha ng pagkahaba-haba, ang sweldo mo lang ay asin. O kapag ka ikaw ay empleyado ng gobyerno noong panahong iyon, maghapon, 8 hours a day, at the end of the month, ang iyong salary ay salarium, salt wages. Pag uwi mo ng bahay, bit-bit mo ay asin. Ah, diba? So yun yung kahalagahan ng asin noong panahong iyon. The phrase, for example, not worth his salt. I'm not sure or I am sure you already heard about this. Not worth his salt actually referred to, during that time, to the trade of slaves for salt. So if you would like to buy a slave, you have to trade with salt. So yung buhay ng tao ay katumbas lang ng asin. And in the Bible, there are more than 30 references about salt. So when Jesus used these images to refer to the twofold missions of his followers, he was actually giving them an important task. Salt was important commodity during that time. And so Christ is telling them or was telling them to be the salt of the earth and light of the world. He chose his words carefully. They were not just random images. Bakit kaya hindi niya sinabing kayo ang mga mantika ng mundong ito? <laughs> Pwede naman. <laughs> you are the oil of this world. Mas mahal yata ang mantika ngayon. Pero nung panahon yun na eh, hindi pa naman uso. No? You are the gasoline or diesel of this world. O, diba? You are the sibuyas of this world. <laughs> Mahalaga din ang sibuyas sa panahon ngayon. Ang ganda sana ng mga images na ito. Pero yung panahon ni Kristo, salt, sabi ko nga, was the number one most important commodity. And so they are both for something. What is the common denominator between the salt and the light? According to some experts, they have this common similarity that is they are both for something else. Their focus is not to themselves, on themselves, but on others. And that is exactly the point of the readings today. Jesus said, you are the salt of the earth. Meaning, this phrase associates being a Christian with the best qualities of salt. What are the best qualities of salt? Number one, a symbol of purity. So Jesus Christ is telling us, that you are the salt of the earth, you are the symbol of purity as Christians. Through your words, through your actions, through your thoughts. Kaya nga nakakalungkot yung awit na niyano, banal na aso, santong kabayo. Nasabi ko na last time, kaharap ko sa jeep, ang isang ale, nagurosaryo, mata niya'y nakapikit, pumara sa kamay kumbento, Sabi ng chopper, sandali lang po kasi may nanghuhuli. Pero anong pinagagawa ng ale? Nagmura pa din ang nagmura yung ale. Banal na aso, santong kabayo. You are the salt of the earth. A symbol of purity. Second characteristic of salt. Antiseptic or healing agent. As Christians, we are tasked to bring reconciliation to this world. Third, as preservative para tumagal yung ulam lagyan ng maraming asin walang makakain kasi maalat ang ulam subukan mo kaya <laughs> preservative pala father yung asin lagyan ko nga yung ulam ng madaming asin ikaw lang ang kakain at matipid yun mas maraming kanin ang iyong kakainin kasi maalat ang iyong ulam pero hindi during that time wala pa namang refrigerator noon hindi pa uso yung mga yelo noon so ang ginagawa nila sa mga isda, sa mga karne, ay nilalagyan ng asin para tumagal. Kaya nga sa Pilipino, uso sa atin yung danggit, uso sa atin yung daing, uso sa atin yung tuyo. Diba? Para nang sa ganun ay ma-preserve, yun na lang ang nilalagay, asin. And so being a Christian, we are also the preservative of what? Of Christ values, of Christ teachings here on earth. That we should not compromise 
hindi pwedeng mamaya, kristyano ka, bukas, hindi pa. And number four, characteristic of the salt, flavor enhancers. Di ba, pagkakain ka tapos uh, walang lasa yung ulam, lalagyan mo ng asin. Kapag uh, matabang, lalagyan mo ng asin. Hindi naman pagbatabang, lalagyan mo ng suka. Hindi naman. Ang inilalagay mo ay asin. Kasi there's something with the salt na nakakadagdag ng flavor. Kaya pagkakain ka ng pagkain ng mga nagda-diet, hindi mo mauubos eh. Kasi walang lasa. So ang pagiging asin, nakakapagdagdag ng flavor. And so being a Christian, ang hinahamon tayo ngayon. We are being challenged by this uh, word of Christ to add flavor to this world. Ano ba yung contribution natin sa mundong ito? You are the salt of the earth. Meaning, we rely on God and at the same time, we add flavor to our society. Last time we celebrated the Lunar New Year, sabi ko nun sa aking mga sermon, makikita mo yung Filipino, Catholic, and at the same time, naniniwala sa iba't ibang mga pampaswerte. <laughs> iba't iba yung mga pampaswerte. Meron tayong palaka na merong coin sa bibig. O, jade frog ang tawag doon. Meron naman tayong pampaswerte yung kumakaway-kaway na pusa, the waving cat. O, meron tayong golden Buddha. At meron pa tayong ano pa, kung ano-ano pa, sa gilid pa, ando doon pa yung santo ninyo. <laughs> Misa bumili ako sa hardware store, kita ko doon yung palaka, nandoon doon yung pusa, nandoon doon yung golden buda, katabi yung santo ninyo. Sabi ko, ginawang pampaswerte yung santo ninyo. Pagkatapos bumili ako at nagbayad doon sa hardware, kinuha yung aking isang libo at ipinagpag doon sa mga images na nandoon doon. Isinama pa si santo ninyo. Sabi ko doon sa mayari, pwede ho itaas-taas nyo naman ng konti si santo ninyo. Huwag nyo naman ipantay sa mga pampa swerte. Diba? So, na doon makikita, from there, we can see the values of the Christian, of the Catholic, of the Filipino Catholic. Saan ba tayo naniniwala? Sa pampaswerte o sa Diyos? Sa God's providence? Second, Christ said, you are the light of the world. The light of the world means the role of Christians is to radiate God to other people through love kindness, mercy, and forgiveness. That is being the light as a Christian. Makikita sa atin yung pagmamahal. Makikita sa atin yung pagpapatawad. Makikita sa atin yung pangangalaga sa bawat isa. Minsan may isang malapit ng mamatay at sinabi sa kanya ng kanyang asawa, Uy, patawarin mo na si Pedro kasi malapit na siyang mamatay. Malapit ka na mamatay. Baka mapunta ka ng impyerno. And so, this man, sabi niya, sige tawagin mo si Pedro nang sa ganun ay mapatawad ko siya sa, aking mga, sa kanyang mga nagawa. And so, sa hospital bed, nagkamay sila and they reconciled. Pero nung palabas na si Pedro, sumigaw itong si Juan at ang sabi niya, Hoy Pedro, valid lang tong reconciliation natin pag namatay ako. Pag buhay pa ako, magkaaway pa rin tayo. Is that the light of the world? In the first reading today, Isaiah gave us the examples, concrete examples. He said, Share your bread with the hungry. Shelter the oppressed and the homeless. Clothe the naked when you see them. And not turning your back on your own. Remove from your midst oppression, false accusation, and malicious speech. And the responsorial psalm affirms this, the just man is a light in the darkness to upright. The just man is a light in the darkness. Parang maganda sa Tagalog to eh. Ang isang taong matuwid ay liwanag sa dilim. Pamilyar kayo sa awit na liwanag sa dilim. Di ba? Yun pala ang pagiging isang Kristiyano that we become daliwanag sa gitna ng kadiliman. Hindi na natin masyado ma-appreciate yung pagiging liwanag, yung pagkagroon ng liwanag. Why? Because meron tayong electricity 24 hours a day. 
Pero pumunta ka sa mga probinsya na palaging brown out. Pumunta ka sa brown out capital of the Philippines. Makikita mo yung saya ng mga tao pag nag brown out. Tapos bumalik yung ilaw. Bumalik yung kuryente. Halos lahat ng bahay maghihiyawan mula sa dulo hanggang sa pinakadulo. Maririnig mo yung kasayahan ng mga tao dahil nandiyan na ulit ang liwanag. Liwanag sa dilim. And so brothers and sisters, Christ said, we are the light of the world and we are the salt of the earth. Last, may isang matandang babae, nagdadrive ng kotse, she was tailgating another car. Pagdating sa intersection, itong sasakyan na to biglang huminto. Kahit na pwede pa naman sanang tumuloy. Kasi orange na yon, Huminto. Itong matandang babae, sa kabilang sasakyan, she rolled down the window of her car and she started shouting obscenities against the one driving the other car. He said, Pradadada, dami niya sinabi. And nag-flip pa siya ng finger. Sa likod, may pulis. Bumaba yung pulis, nilapitan itong babae at inaresto. Sabi ng pulis, bumaba ka ng iyong sasakyan, inaaresto kita sa salang pagnanakaw. Nagulat yung matanda. Bakit pagnanakaw? Samantalang nagsasalita lang naman ako ng kung ano-ano doon, hindi naman ako nagnakaw. Bumaba po kayo. Pinusasan yung matanda. Pagkatapos, pinakita sa kanya yung mga nakadikit na sticker doon sa kanyang sasakyan. Inaakusahan ko po kayo ng pagnanakaw kasi parang hindi sa inyo itong sasakyan. Bakit? Ano nakalagay doon sa sasakyan? Jesus is my salvation. Jesus is my Lord. At meron pa doong hugis ng isda to show that the one driving the car is a Christian. Makikita natin yung kabalintunaan doon. The irony of that. Na you are driving a car na merong Jesus is my salvation, Jesus is my Lord, and then at the same time, kung ano-ano ang lumalabas sa iyong bibig. You are not practicing what you are actually preaching. And so, that is the challenge this whole week, this, this fifth Sunday of ordinary time. To be the salt of the earth and the light of the world. Let us all stand as we profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, salvation he, he came down, down from, from heaven, heaven and by the Holy Spirit was, was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became, and became man. man. For, for our sake he was crucified under Pontius, Pontius Pilate. Pilate. He, he suffered, suffered death and was buried and rose again on the, on the third day in accordance, in accordance with the scriptures. scriptures. He ascended into heaven and, and is seated, seated at the right hand of the Father. Of the Father. He, he will, will come, come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Being a real disciple of the Lord and an apostle is not easy, for we are expected to live the gospel to the full. Aware of our weakness, we pray, Lord, make us salt of the earth and light of the world. Lord, make us salt of the earth and light of, of the world. world. That the church may remain true to herself and zealously accomplish the mission entrusted to her by the Lord Jesus, we pray. Lord, make us salt of the earth and light of the world. 
that the Pope, the bishops, the priests, and the members of religious congregations may at all times be an inspiration to the entire Christian community. We pray. Lord, Lord make, make us salt of the earth, earth and light, light of, the of the world. That the Holy Spirit may instill in all people respect for the sacredness of human life from the moment of conception until death and support all those who struggle to uphold this supreme value, we pray. Lord, Lord make, make us salt, salt of the earth, the earth and light, and light of, the of the world. That all parents may value the gift of children and raise them with a sense of responsibility to be good Christians and honest citizens, we pray. Lord, Lord make, make us salt, salt of, of the earth, earth and, and light, light of, the of the world. That all pregnant women who are tempted to abort their child may realize the gravity of this crime and may be open to the alternative of giving their child for adoption. We pray. Lord, Lord make, make us salt, salt of, of the earth, earth and, and light, light of, of the, the world. world. Birthday Thanksgiving of Nino Versosa. Family Thanksgiving Prayer of Malu Akawili, Claire Esquera, Grace Aquino, Maria Cristino Sama, Cristina Samano, Nemesio Alvarez, Rico and Nitz Pablo and family, and Liwaiwai Mascardo and family. Healing Prayer for Angelo P. Tomas, Alexander Agawin Jr., Janris Antiola, and Avelino Legaspi. Special intentions of Grace Aquino, R.M., and Maria Alita Rodriguez. Eternal repose for the souls of Dominador, Deborah, Gaudencio, and Ruth Cabatu. Amor, Amparo, Jacinto, and Juan de Leon. Emma and Roman Espinosa and Tomas Hizola. We pray. Lord, make, make us salt, salt of, of the earth, earth and, and light, light of, the of the world. Let us pray in silence for our personal intentions and for all the intentions offered in this Mass. We pray. Lord, Lord make, make us salt of the earth, the earth and, and light, light of, the of the world. Lord Jesus, through light of the world, strengthen our determination to fulfill our task of being salt of the earth and light of the world. Sustain us in our endeavor to follow your example and overcome the moral darkness that is around us and within us. You who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. 
May the Lord accept, accept the, sacrifice the sacrifice at your hands for the, for the praise, praise and glory of his name, for our, our good, good and the good of all his church. holy church. O Lord, our God, who once established these created things to sustain us in our frailty, grant, we pray, that they may become for us now the sacrament of eternal life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit, lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For through this Paschal mystery, He accomplished the marvelous deed by which He has freed us from the yoke of sin and death, summoning us to the glory of being now called a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for your own possession, to proclaim everywhere your mighty works, for you have called us out of darkness into your own wonderful light. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Onesto our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, 
we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, 
Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Prayer for grace amid transition. Almighty and ever-living God, we pray for the courage and compassion to embrace new beginnings and rise from any crisis. We continue to ask for your protection and guidance so that with your healing hand, we may overcome every effect of this pandemic and any other crisis that may cross our path. Guide our health workers so that your healing love and strength may flow through their hands. Guide our leaders so that truth and empathy may be the measure of their service. Guide our spiritual frontliners so that they may help us find fervor and courage to spread God's love and peace amid the chaos and suffering. May your church be a sign of hope, comfort, and love to all, even during the dark times of our history. As we embrace this changed world and go into the future, we implore you to fill our hearts and be one with you more than ever. We look forward, renewed, and strengthened to celebrate for whatever lies ahead. For it is only by your grace, Lord, and the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary that we can pursue all these endings and beginnings. We ask you this through Christ our Lord and Savior. Amen. Prayer for the unity of the family. God, our Father, loving and merciful, Bring together and keep all families in perfect unity of love and mutual support. Infuse in each member the spirit of understanding, forbearance, and affection for each other. Keep quarrels, bitterness, and pettiness far from them, and their occasional failures instill forgiveness and peace. May the mutual love and affection of parents be a source of loving obedience and discipline. May their chastity and fidelity be an inspiration for their children. Instill in children such self-respect that they may respect others, obey their parents and those in authority, and grow in mature independence and the tender joy of friendship. Make the mutual affection and respect of families a sign of Christian life here and hereafter, through Christ our Lord and Savior. Amen. On behalf of Father Bell San Luis SVD, Executive Producer of Family TV Mass, 
We would like to thank the following for making our family TV mass possible. Father Glenn Paul Gomez, SVD, Rector of Christ the King Mission Seminary. Reverend Father Don Dion Soriano, SVD, our mass celebrant and homilist. <laughs> Reverend Father Ven Yator, SVD, Seminarian's As As Assistant Prefect of Christ the King Mission Seminary. Our lector, Sister Jo Dragos. <laughs> Our server, Brother Rashid Paul Samonte. And your commentator, Daryl Ibarra. Special thanks to our sponsors, donors, and benefactors. Thank you also to our televiewers here and abroad, our online audience, our SVD seminarians present here, and to our seminary staff and personnel, Thank you, and God bless us all. Let us pray. O God, who have willed that we be partakers in the one bread and the one chalice, grant us, we pray, so to live, that made one in Christ, we may joyfully bear fruit for the salvation of the world. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May the Lord make you salt of the earth in a society that has lost the meaning of life and of the values that really matter. Amen. Amen. May the Lord enable you to be the light of the world through a behavior that shines forth in the midst of so much corruption and hedonism. Amen. May he empower you to defend and promote human life against all attempts to destroy it through abortion, euthanasia, terrorism, and other forms of violence. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Family TV Mass was offered by Achievers Fuel and Service Center Corporation, Planet Drugstore Corporation, and Semirara Mining and Power Corporation.